dysfunctional vet. This is a Black Max 16 inch saw. I believe it's 128 on the website. My recommendation is if you need a chainsaw, I'd buy it. I've used a lot of chainsaws. This one has taken an incredible amount of abuse and it still works. This is my air filter right here. I had a little bit of leakage down inside here. I'm going to clean out the filter and put it back on. To pull the top off, first thing you do is you pull. To pull the top off, the first thing you do is you lift up on this white tab. It releases this piece. It comes up. There are three screws here, 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 and over there. You release those. The choke comes to the up position. You manipulate it a little bit. You lift up on the front of this cowling just a little bit and then the whole thing just slides back and off real easy. What we're doing is we're replacing this tab right here. Down inside here there's some clips with, which I'm getting ready to release and I'm going to replace the primer bulb. As I said this one gets a tremendous amount of abuse. This one is out in the sun the majority of the time. Um, if I'm doing anything like uh, cutting logs and stuff like that, I use this little 16 because it's light and it starts pretty much on the first or second pull every time. I've just bought some primer bulbs. I'm getting ready to replace them and we're going to watch that take place. To get this off, I pressed on one of these flanges. To get this off, I pressed on one of these flanges and easily just pulled it out. You have two different lengths of hose on the back or plastic that come off of the primer bulb. One is short, one is long. One pulls the fuel up into the primer bulb and the other circulates it to the carburetor. You want to make sure that you never get those backwards. In this case, the long one is on the bottom. I'm about to go get a pair of pliers and ease that off and put my next one on. Then I'll ease this one off, put it on, and then I'll snap it back into place and life will go on. I needed a pair of needle nose pliers to hold down on the long line because when I disconnected it, it was spraying out. I don't know if it's because of uh, tank pressure inside trying to flow out or what. I have no clue. But I have uh, got it primed as soon as I clean the air filter and I reassemble it. I'll run it for a moment, make sure there's no leaks. If there are, then I'll break it down further and replace the fuel lines. And for now, I think that's got it done. Okay, we've got the air filter back on. Wash it off, use some soap. I'm gonna order two new air filters in a moment. Um, primer bulb is from Black Max. It's from their website on the parts list. Uh, next thing to do, is to put this piece on right here. This one is a little tricky in that I've got to work it around a few things. Let me do that and then we'll come back to the camera. Before I put this back on, this screw right here hangs up on this plastic right here. And that's the biggest problem and I don't want to cut that plastic. If I'd cut it, it it'd fit right on. I have removed the air filter just so that I can more easily see what's going on. Remember this has to be in the up position and has to slip into this slot right here as you're putting it back on. If you see where I'm talking about. So let me get this back on. When you put your cover back on this is your release pin that I was talking about a minute ago. This thing needs to, it goes on smoothly like a battery compartment. And then you push your tab in and everything's back. I did run it off camera. It ran great. I want to put a, a plug in for a Black Max chainsaw. The saw, this one, I think I paid 40 to 60 bucks. It was a closeout at Walmart. 
I liked it so much, I, I went back the same day to get the other one. It was already gone. And about a month later, they were in, I think they were 158 to 160 I don't remember the exact price. On Amazon, they're 138 or 140 And from the Black Max website, you can buy these for 128 If you need a good, good, good saw, I would tell you to go with a Black Max. This thing has started up. I've been in some pretty serious rainstorms and it has continued to run real well. It runs as well as a steel or any of the high dollar Husqvarna's. When I say the Husqvarna's, I'm talking the professional models that run about six to eight hundred dollars a piece. This thing is uh, real good. I do recommend it. Black Max. It's got a bear logo. I don't think you're going to go wrong on it. I know it's possible to get a lemon. Um, my experience with all the Husqvarna's under about five to six hundred dollars are pretty worthless. Uh, don't know if it's the guy I got them from didn't know how to he he recarburates them or something. I don't know, but um, the Husqvarna's that I buy that are all well over five to six hundred dollars have all worked well and have been very reliable. This saw, for its price, you can't beat it. I recommend it. Dysfunctional vet out.